Welcome to the Seven Shifts audio series. Audio series is an oral version of Seven Shifts blog posts created to help restaurant owners and operators learn new ways to simplify their lives. From labor management to operations, to marketing and everything in between, the Seven Shifts blog has you covered. Hello, and welcome to Seven Shifts audio series. Simple, smart ideas for restaurant workers, owners, and operators to grow their businesses and to make their lives easier. Seven Shifts is scheduling software made to simplify labor management, one shift at a time. We help restaurants improve performance, freeing up time for managers to focus on serving their customers. Today, we're going to talk about task management, which is the art and science of ensuring all your employees know what they need to do and when they need to do it, and being able to confirm that it all gets done. Now that guests are coming back into your restaurant, it means there are more tables to clean, more guests to attend to, and more side work to complete. With more guests coming in and more staff to serve them, there are more tasks to be scheduled and manage, and it's more important than ever that they get done as your restaurant rebuilds its relationships with its returning customers. The problem of restaurant task management is not a new one. In a recent study we conducted, restaurateurs named employee engagement their third biggest challenge going into 2020. That means that figuring out how to keep staff productive and motivated has been, and continues to be, a top priority in the restaurant industry. But with things picking back up after more than a 40% decline in industry sales, thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, the importance of effective and timely task management has resurfaced. And when it comes to cleanliness and attentiveness, now is not the time to fall short. In this reality, restaurant task management should be more top of mind than perhaps it ever has been. But the question remains, with a staff that changes size and personnel by the shift, what's the best way to set communicate, and enforce restaurant task management with your staff. In this episode, we'll help you answer that question. Keep listening for our tips for how to make your staff more efficient and how to make sure no task is left incomplete when you go home for the day. So let's start from the beginning with a basic question. What is restaurant task management? Restaurant task management is the organization, delegation, and communication of all the necessary tasks in your restaurant. Effective restaurant task management involves identifying a list of the tasks that need completing, organizing them by the frequency in which they must be completed, assigning and communicating these tasks to your employees, and ensuring the tasks are completed in an accurate, timely manner. Task management and the organization and communication of all the tasks is what keeps your staff productive, your management team organized, and your restaurant running smoothly. Here are some steps for effectively managed tasks in your restaurant. Step number one, divide your tasks by time and frequency. Before you divvy up tasks among your staff, you need to have a list of everything that needs to be completed regularly, including tasks done multiple times each day, such as server side work and service cleaning in the front and back of the house, tasks done daily, like nightly deep cleans and taking out the trash before closing, tasks done multiple times per week, like placing food orders from select inventory suppliers. Tasks done weekly, like runs to the bank or to supply stores like the Restaurant Depot. And finally, tasks done during special circumstances, like setup and breakdown for an event. Once you have your master lists of tasks, break them into those different categories. You should also specify if the task should be done during a certain time of the day and or if it has a specific due date. For example, if it needs to be done by 5 o'clock each day, or if it's something that needs to be done once a week, but can be done at any time. Step number two, assign tasks to your employees. After you've completed the list of tasks that need completing in your restaurant, you'll need to assign the right people on the right jobs. There are two different paths you can take to assigning tasks to your employees, staying consistent or a rotating task model. With a consistent assignment model, everybody is clear on the tasks they should be completing. This means that you can expect those assigned to a certain task to be reliably great at what they do. Inventory takers take inventory. Floor moppers mop the floor. There's nothing to worry about. This model works best for restaurants with a small staff that works a consistent schedule every week. However, there's a very possible downside. This model can upset some employees, particularly the ones who always have to do the dirty work, like cleaning bathrooms. Also, by not cross-training your employees, you run the risk of having no one who knows the proper way to do a task, say, restocking the kitchen if the person who does that task quits. 
Finally, this model limits the number of employees who are able to do certain tasks. This can complicate scheduling flexibility and can create an issue if, say, the manager who places the bread order every day calls in sick. Who will order the bread then? You won't face those issues if you employ a rotating task model. Your staff will be cross-trained on several different tasks and capable of stepping up to fill in where needed, so you can trust that all tasks will be completed. That said, the reality is no one is great at everything, so a task might be done better or worse at certain times, depending on whose turn it is to do it. We recommend a hybrid of these two models. In other words, make sure there are a select group of tasks that most or all employees, particularly those on the same side of the house, can do well. Additionally, assign another group of vital tasks to a trusted few employees. This way, everyone is able to lend a hand where needed, and you'll be able to assign tasks more effectively even if schedules change week to week. Step 3. Communicate tasks to your employees. Next, you need to develop a system that makes employees aware of the tasks they're responsible for completing. There are a few options you can pursue here, so pick the one or ones that make the most sense for your restaurant. One great idea is using a restaurant task management app. You use texts and apps to communicate with your employees about their schedules, pay, and time off. Why not their on-duty tasks? With a restaurant task management app, you can easily assign tasks and manage their completion in your restaurant. To learn more about our task management app, Google 7 Tasks or explore our website 7shifts.com for more information. The biggest benefit of a task management app is how quickly and easily you can make updates. Instead of printing out a new checklist when you need to add a task or redrawing your entire whiteboard at the start of each shift, you can instantly update the app with a new task and assign it to the right person. This is a great way to ensure that last-minute, forgotten, special, or occasional tasks get assigned. Additionally, an app can give insight into employee productivity metrics that you need to properly run your restaurant. Apps like our 7 Tasks app can send you a real-time notification when a task is completed, who completed it, and which tasks remain to be done. It can also generate a full report of all your tasks and who's doing what. The 7 Tasks app enables you to 1. Build custom recurring or one-time task lists to manage duties that need to be completed daily, weekly, monthly, or just once in a while. 2. Assign task lists and specific tasks to staff members so that they know what to do when they're on duty. And 3. Keep your team accountable by monitoring what tasks they're completing and when. If you want a lower tech approach, you can also use the old tried and true back office whiteboard. If you don't mind the smell of dry erase markers, the back office whiteboard is a perfectly adequate management tool for tasks that get completed on a daily, nightly, or even weekly basis. While a whiteboard is hard to customize without erasing or redoing the entire board, it works as a highly visual reminder to everyone about who needs to do what and when they need to do it. Another useful low-tech tool is a restaurant checklist. Restaurant checklists are a good way to organize longer task lists. They work best for managers who hold the master list. Just keep in mind that you might end up chasing employees to double-check that their task is done before marking it as complete. On top of that, checklists need to be printed multiple times per day. They're less interactive and shareable with the staff, which can make it harder to delegate and communicate responsibilities. Still, restaurant checklists remain a reliable way to lay out and mark a list of tasks to complete, especially at opening and closing. And if you have a staff that you really trust, you can always just use the honor system. An absolute last resort, especially for restaurants with big staffs that rotate frequently, is the honor system. In this system, managers tell employees what tasks they need to do as they come up, and employees are expected to simply honor that agreement without a lot of reminders and follow through. For a small restaurant with a reliable staff that work the same shifts every week, the honor system isn't a terrible system. But given the intricate details of running, cleaning, and organizing a restaurant, you really should consider it to be an option to use if all else fails. And the fourth and final step of restaurant task management is holding your staff accountable. It's very simple. Employees need to do their tasks, and there needs to be consequences if they don't meet their responsibilities. All of the above examples we've discussed, with the exception of the honor system, have a clear way to hold employees accountable. With whiteboards and checklists, a simple X or check mark inside a blank square works. You can use red markers instead of blue, or black ones to indicate tasks that haven't been completed. With a restaurant task management app, employees can mark each task complete as they finish it, and the app will send an instant notification to their manager. These instant updates can be really helpful for time-sensitive tasks. 
even after you see a task crossed off a list. As a manager, it's on you to do your due diligence and make cursory checks. Because even though you should be able to trust your employees, some tasks just require a second set of eyes. For example, if you always seem to come in to supervise the Wednesday morning shift and notice the front of the house floor isn't sparkling, you may want to follow up with the employee who is responsible for mopping on Tuesday evenings. Maybe he just needs a reminder about the best way to clean, and you can take some time to show him. After that, when you see the floors clean task complete on Tuesday night, you'll know for sure that it's been done correctly. With diligence and consistency, you can quickly become a task managing master. With a little organization, communication, and faith in your staff and the way you've trained them, restaurant task management will soon go from being a logistical nightmare to becoming another normal and doable part of your job. Now is the time that restaurants need to operate their best to regain the trust and patronage of their customers. Since you and your staff need to be on your A-games now more than ever, don't take task management for granted. Invest in the right tools, hold your staff accountable, and you'll start worrying less about whether or not tasks in your restaurant are being done right. Then you'll be able to focus more on the most important part of your job, keeping your customers happy and coming back to your restaurant. Good luck. And we'll be back soon with more restaurant industry tips and tricks. Thanks for listening to another episode of the 7 Shifts audio series. To listen to more great content for restaurateurs, check out 7shifts.com slash blog. Or to learn more about how 7 Shifts can simplify labor management in your restaurant, visit 7shifts.com.